I have learned that I am weak. I have been jealous. I have been wrathful. I have been lazy. All the things the seven sins stand for, and I have paid dearly for it. And I remain stranded on Earth. So when you speak of hope, all hope is lost. Hey everyone, welcome to the live stream here at Nexus. We are playing Dark Souls 4. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Side is 3. Dark Side is 3 with my associate Rob over here taking the charge. Calm the beating heart. <laughs> and we got Sam over here as well joining us. Hi guys. So the interesting question looming around the internet is, is Dark Side is 3 any good? And today Rob is going to be answering all of the above. Yes, yes mm. it is. He's also a fanboy yes. and he knows yes, nothing I about am. anything. So, <laughs> it's just... It's good. Today we're going to be actually, though, hunting down the sins. So yes. I'm excited to see yes. what the sins look like. Yes. The sins and look very good. Hopefully Deadly, get but to, good. Hopefully we can get to Envy enough. Hopefully. So hopefully we envy should envy definitely get to Envy. Envy mm -hmm. is pretty much, uh, yeah, yeah it's very, very quick to get to. Oh, okay. like, I think about five minutes into the game you get to Envy. Yeah. Wrath. Yes, we should, we hopefully hopefully gonna get to wrath. I mean, you got an hour to get yeah. through. So, so yeah. what about your pro yeah. MLG skills and get us to wrath? Do you think you got it? I got it. Have you been practicing your? Yes, dark souls? because also now I kind of know where. I, can you stop saying dark souls? <laughs> <laughs> <It's> dark souls. <laughs> stop ruining my nice game and your, with your face and your ugly words. No one wants them here. All right, so can we just cut straight to gameplay then, like? First things first, it's actually a really nice, okay, that's... Yes, nice. yes. I want to, I, I want to just uh, show the, the beautiful loading screen in yes. all the, actually, the title menu. It was beautiful. Because it's just, I mean, look at the, look at the, the sparkly things and the, and the and name the and the... That's a weird and spelling the, error, I mean, what is Darksiders? <laughs> this guy's going to do the believe, death for me. <laughs> I do believe you meant souls. Yeah, fine. <laughs> We're going to load in also, now. Also, why isn't it saying it's produced by Miyazaki? What's going on here? Because it's not. <laughs> it is so Miyazaki. It's not. It is. We're right, so, start uh, a new game. We're going to be starting a new game for this because we don't want to jump into spoilers for where Rob Apocalyptic or nothing. Guys, if we go <laughs> apocalyptic, we're not even getting to Envy. I can promise you that much. You're going to try. Can we actually just um, see the game in its yes. normal form? We will, we will play balanced. Right. In other words, we Rob play... doesn't know how to play hard games. <laughs> yes, no, Keegan. You know there's no actual difficulty slider on Dark Souls, so this is an actual... Yeah, like, I mean, Miyazaki yeah, took a weird approach this time with this game. <laughs> it's really strange. Do you know what? I'm just going to ignore you two and put my headphones on because honestly, I'm, I'm so done with these two. Do you think they'll be an Artorius in Dark Souls 4? Artorius? Mm. I wonder if he's a secret boss. Probably is. <laughs> uh, Rob, um, while we're watching this beautiful cutscene, can you explain to us the story so far of Darksiders? Yes. So, Darksiders actually, uh, the, the first one starts off with war. Yeah. So you open up as the horseman, the apocalypse has just happened, mm. and war gets accused of breaking the seventh seal of okay. the apocalypse, thus yeah. triggering the end of the world. Triggering. Triggering. What, what is the seventh seal? Uh, the seventh seal, I don't actually know. 
I can't remember. Yeah. If it was ever said, I don't remember, but I don't think they ever referred to them in there. It's just the seven seals. Oh, it's just the thing. It's that just called the seven seals. Okay, cool. Yeah. 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 So that happens, and you basically go on a quest to try and absolve yourself and find out what's actually happened. Oh, okay. Then you got the second game, which you play as Death. Yes, my yeah. boy. And uh, yep, that's yep. that's also. Fan fan Until recently, he was my boy. Until I played Dark Side of Three. Fury is my jam. Absolutely. But, love he can her, still but I'm be getting a boy, and then but I'm, I'm getting Fury to her. Be your girl. I'm getting to her now. Really? So. What? I mean, he no. can still be your boy, yeah, and then she but, can be your girl. I mean. But anyway, yeah. I mean, but I don't know. Fury, no, anyway, you'll see. <laughs> so. And we get to Death, mm. who tries to basically help War absolve himself because he can't come to terms with the fact that War actually triggered the apocalypse. He doesn't oh, believe okay. it. He's in complete denial about it. So he also goes on his own quest to try and find out what actually happened mm -hmm. and to actually undo um, the effects of the apocalypse. Does it get undone? Spoiler warning. Um, no. No, it doesn't. Well, no. well, considering that there's a sequel, I imagine it No, doesn't. It, it, it doesn't. Um, it's not that death fails in his journey, it's just... It it's, says it's death, a, dark soul of eternity. Dark souls confirmed. Keegan. No, no, no. Stop your nonsense. Just stop now. Okay. Continue. Leave my, leave my game alone. No. Anyway, so, uh, then we get to Fury, which is obviously this game. Mm -hmm. um, the only female horseman of the apocalypse, which I feel oh. is kind of sexist. I mean, they could have at least called her the horsewoman of the apocalypse. I, I, mean, I, I guess so, I mean... But you know, it's quite interesting what gunfire games have done because obviously there's that old cliche mm. saying of yeah. hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Yeah. Mm. So I think it was quite a cool approach that they've done, making fury yeah. a um, a woman. And and what's interesting for me is as well is fury is also genuinely rec mm -hmm. uh, generally mm -hmm. recognized as a, um, a male trait. Yeah. yeah. So males always furious and angry and you know warriors and whatever. So mm. I think it's quite cool that they've made her a female. It's really awesome. It puts it mm. a good perspective um a good spin on the would on you the say she's more like like a female kratos yes oh okay. absolutely yes her yeah. attitude is very much similar to kratos oh okay. yeah. except that kratos is very um even even kratos compared to fury is a little bit lower in demeanor he's, mm. he's a little bit more reserved well then we have fury, fury we have which you'll yeah. see in her character it's absolutely beautiful if you watch the cutscene as well Instead yeah. of listening to our ugly mugs, <laughs> you would have you would have noticed that Fury is uh, that quite ugly. sassy. She, mm. She's rather sassy. Really so reality. yeah. One thing I'll say is that I, I don't know if this is a big thing to talk about, but I like the hair physics in the game because hmm? uh, the hair yes. of, of Fury. I mean, when when I played the demo at Rage, it was all floaty. It was all this like floaty mm. movement mm. and stuff, and I thought it was like so cool. Yeah, so, I, I I like I appreciate the fact that Gunfire have gone through a lot of detail. Sorry, this is my favorite scene. You'll see. Oh, you'll you'll see what she says. It's absolutely beautiful. I love you so much. I'd kill you just for something wow. to do. And that accurately reflects what Fury is like. That's so, pretty much her character and personality. So pretty much Kratos, if he spent like a year in rehab, but didn't actually fix himself. I act, no, it's actually yeah. like Kratos. If someone like kept hitting him with a stick. And it just, he just got irritated to a point where he was just like, <laughs> yeah. and then just lost his cool, <laughs> you know. That is that is rather yeah. descriptive. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I so far I'm absolutely loving Fury. Like she's yeah. really become hey, my favorite boy, character hey, in the series so far. Um, can you just catch me up on what exactly is so happening here? Yeah. Basically what's happened is the apocalypse has just happened. Mm. War is ridden out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rode out? Ridden out? Anyway. Rid, rode, um, rode out. War rode out um, because he claims that he heard the call of the apocalypse. Mm -hmm. and obviously when the call is made, the horsemen are meant to ride and uh, kind of bring back the balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, he is then captured by the, the Chart Council, which I'm speaking now. Yeah. And um, he's then told that the seventh seal hadn't been broken mm -hmm. and that he wrote out triggering the apocalypse. So he was actually the reason for the apocalypse. Yeah. And thus he's captured. Um, has to probably atone for his sins. Yes. Yeah. To, to, but also the Chart Council wants to just find out what happened and why he did it. Mm -hmm. So at this point in time, it's pretty much the, I think it's just after the opening sequence of the first game. Mm -hmm. And that's one nice thing about Darksiders is that it's technically sequels to the first, but they yeah. all run a concurrent story storyline. So they yeah. all run parallel to each other. Right. So these are all based on the different uh, horsemen mm. around the same time as the first game. Oh, okay. okay. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Which is quite interesting. Actually, actually quite clever. So, um, safe to say they're going to make Darksiders 4. Do you think with um, 
Who is the fourth horseman? Strife. 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 Uh, Strife. Sorry. Strife. Strife. Yeah. Yeah. So with Strife, it's going to sort of be the same thing yes. where his storyline is going to take place yeah. concurrently to the other dark side of the yeah. world. And um, I think it's actually, I think it might have just passed now, uh, but they do actually mention Strife as well, and they say that he's on a current adventure. Right. Oh, okay. So we do know that there is something happening with strife within the law mm. we just obviously um don't know so what I, it is yet. i'm really 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 hoping gunfire gives it one last go and makes a, a final sequel yeah just so that we can play a strife and find out what his and character is be like. all four of the horsemen and then be all four of the horsemen yes that makes sense. but so far chronologically speaking um especially to where i've gotten from what i've understood yeah the third game is still uh, before the first. Okay. So the first game is actually technically the last in the timing of the Darksiders gaming mm -hmm. game franchise. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, it's, like, yeah. Yeah. it's one of those. So it's almost like a story within story type. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the bad reviews that are plaguing mm. this current game. I, I know it's a bit of a mixed bag. There are some people who love it, some people hate it, but it's mm. it's starting to cascade in a more hate mm. than love situation. Mm. Yeah, so, so I've obviously read quite a lot of reviews that have come out lately, and uh, most of them are saying that Darksiders doesn't deliver a game kind of worthy of 2018, if that makes sense. Yep. And um, I felt like that was a pretty harsh criticism considering First of all, Darksiders is actually a double A franchise. It's not actually a triple A, but it's been treated so well that it was almost seen as a triple A franchise um, throughout its history. Yeah. So, um, I mean, Darksiders games have never gotten 10 out of 10 reviews mm. because they're mm. not that type of game. They're not like this perfect, flawless, yeah. ultimate gaming yeah. experience. But they are full of, of rich lore. They're full of... Um, incredibly well detailed art design mm. um and and just like i don't know I'm, like i even struggle to find the words now to really describe the dark mm. franchise but mm. it's it's pretty much an i would say a niche market because yeah. it's it's for a specific type of person yeah you know it's for a, a person who really um is interested in apocalyptic law and interested mm. in the stories of the four horsemen and things yeah. like that um but yeah in terms of the reviews getting back to it uh like I said, I don't, I don't feel that the, some of the reviews are justified. I mean, I get the criticisms. There have been times where I've had some issues with the game, yeah. um, especially the there's audio stuttering sometimes. Mm. There's a few frame drops, yeah. and um, sometimes some of the scenes look, they're not quite rendered out properly. Mm -hmm. So like some things are so well detailed, like you'll see in an armor there, yeah. and um, other times it just looks like it just hadn't loaded properly. Just oh, yet. Okay, okay. But yeah. other than that, I mean, so far I'm. I don't see what the big complaint is, really. Uh, you know, I'm not going to say that I've gotten incredibly far into the game. Yeah. Um, so that's just some explanation. And um, so, uh, sorry, I can't say that I've gotten like incredibly far into the game. So I can't yeah. like just sit here and give a, a, a thorough opinion. Yeah. But from what I've seen so far, I I don't think that it deserves the extremely harsh criticism that's been yeah. given against it. Okay. So that that will be pending your full review yes. to see yes. whether or not the game actually does reflect that. Or yes. Not. So yeah. yeah. So yeah. stay tuned to our website. Very soon we'll have the review up, and um, yeah, hopefully it's a good one. Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> Hello. So. Uh, Okay, one thing I, I want to just mention though yes. is Dark Siders always have this unique art style about it. Oh, and it's, it's very comic book inspired art yes. style. Can yes. you talk a little bit more about that? Like, so, uh, Dark Siders the game, oh, well, sorry, Dark Siders the franchise is actually based off a comic book, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. which is why the developers have always tried to keep it to a comic book esque style game. Yeah, okay. And um, I feel like that's also contributing to the negativity about the game so far, mm -hmm. especially since we've been given games like so. Um, We've been given games such as Spider-Man, God of War, Red Dead Redemption, you know, these visual masterpieces. And then we've got Darksiders releasing, which technically doesn't scratch up to those games. Yeah. Um, but there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that because that's yeah. not the art style of the game. Mm -hmm. And that is why I say to compare this graphics to uh, things like Red Dead Redemption and God of War is actually just unfair. Yeah. Because the game has always managed to stay well within its art, art style. And I think they've done it extremely well in this one. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it definitely shows. I yes. mean, the, the art style, I don't know if this was actually a bit inspired by that, but it mm. reminds me of Todd McFarlane's. Yes, um, yes. Kind of, if he had any uh, chipping the designs of yes. these. Very similar to Spawn and, and uh, some of his earlier works. 
kill. So as you can yeah. see, we've already gotten to Envy. Yeah, that's yeah. what I said. First it's one. A, kind of like the introductory boss to the game, like a tutorial boss, mm. kind of. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, the, the, if you didn't rush through oh, it like I did there, yeah. you'll see there are some screens that pop up giving you a few uh, basic control tips and stuff mm, like yeah. that. But, once again, as you progress through the game, it, mm -hmm. it explains things to you. And the nice thing is that you can keep hints on, mm -hmm. so that if you get, ever get stuck in a place or whatever, you if you kind of get close to where you need to be going, it'll give yeah. you some idea. Yeah. Oh, okay. But, that's only if you're like really stuck. Yeah. Otherwise, the puzzling is all up to you, the same as what it was mm -hmm. in the first game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, that brings a lot of... Uh, it brings some interesting concepts to the game because it stops you from just running straight through, killing everything in sight, and then that's it. That's I know the game. with the, the game being so difficult in yes, this yeah. one, right? Yeah, that actually would help a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, who didn't play it for yes, the difficulty. Yeah. So yeah. that, that does bring a good... I mean, for an example, one of the... And the nice thing with the puzzles is that they're actually simplistically complicated, if that makes sense. Oh, hello. Mm. So... Yeah. Uh, Okay, so I see the Ojing is heavily focused on in this. Uh, yes. So, so could you do me a favor and describe the changing mechanics of what you've experienced so far? So, I'm going to be very. Uh... Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. So the the dodging mechanics are pretty important, which is uh, something that actually I wasn't really seen much in the last two games. Yeah. The last two games were very focused on run straight in, hit and smash everything in front of you, and then yeah. that's it. Um, so far in the reviews as well, everyone's been, uh, and I know you guys hate it as well, but yeah. everyone's been equating it to this Dark Souls mechanic of having to roll mm. at a specific time. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, that's actually just called, I mean, that's that's not really a Dark Souls mechanic, it's just a combat mechanic, to actually, be fair. You know, the Dark Souls kind of like affected it, but yeah. it yeah. was around in games before. Um, yeah. Ninja Gaiden did it yeah. before then, and then oh. I don't remember other games since. But just with, the, with, with things that people compare to constantly to Dark Souls, what exactly about the combat makes it feel Dark Souls? -like? So, you're, you need to you need to precisely time your 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 dodges and your counter attacks. Um, otherwise, you are going to hello. We are <laughs> you are going to get knocked down pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, the nice thing they've got about it is that oh, do you see the there actually perfect yeah. example her attack. As light as it may be, it did a pretty significant amount on my health bar. Yeah, I saw that. And um, does does this like uh, one, oh, give geez. the game a level of difficulty? Perhaps. Yeah, it yeah. does. It does. But also, it, it makes the game a little bit more interesting in that you you're not just gonna, like I said, you're not just gonna run in and just wail on it until it dies. Yeah. yeah. It makes it a little bit more tactical. You know? Yeah. yeah. Seems like that's exactly. the theme of this. Yeah. Exactly. It's a lot more tactical game. Exactly. Yeah. And like I said, the tactical essence, um, actually, let me just heal myself a little bit there. Mm -hmm. uh, the tactical essence, again, brings that nice, um, it prevents the game from getting dull too quickly, if that makes yeah. sense. And yeah. a lot of the reviews have also been saying, um, you know, that it's as simple as learning a boss's uh, movements and then learning how to counter attack them. Yes, but in that time, you will have probably died about five times, depending on the difficulty you're playing with. Yeah. So it's not just as simple as learning uh, oh, hello. <laughs> oh. Um, it's not just as simple as being like, oh, okay, well, you know, I'm going to do this at this time. Uh, because, like I said, you, you, you're probably going to have died a few times in between learning the, the boss's mechanics. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got luck. Yeah. That was, that was pure luck. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's one thing I do want to point out though that I'm not really enjoying is that they've got this weird mechanic where um, once a boss dies it does that fade out screen yeah mm -hmm. and I feel like I mean it's enjoyable because it obviously leads into the cutscene yeah yeah um, but it does detach but it, you yeah it detaches a little bit because yeah. you're like oh whoa whoa what's going on mm -hmm. you know what I mean it's like weird um, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, other than that, uh, so far, I don't really have many, uh, I, I really don't have many complaints with this yeah. game. May I just ask, um, yes. who is this, uh, this person that this is... This the hollow that they're referring yeah. to? So, this is not the hollow, yeah. this is actually your watcher. So, oh. if you remember from the first two games, you yeah. had a watcher that accompanied you on yeah. your journey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, your watcher was used to summon... Sorry, you, you used your watcher to help navigate your way through the, mm -hmm. um, through the map and to also remind you of your objective. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but the watcher also serves, in the law, the watcher serves as a uh, reporter to the council. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
Um, the Watcher was introduced in the first game to make sure that War's allegiance was truly to the Council, mm -hmm. right? And then the second one, I think, was just a continuation. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like in this one, they've they've kept they've kept that tradition. Sorry, but the nice, the enjoyable thing about this is that now the Watcher is actually fawning over you the entire time because yeah. she's genuinely scared that you're going to kill her, like at any oh. given point. Okay. Um, it's not explicitly stated, but you'll see her body mechanics like there, where she shudders away, yeah. and there, where she constantly praises her over and over and over yeah. again. It's, it gives you that idea that the Watcher is genuinely scared of Fury. Yeah, which um, is a first. Yes, which, which is actually, actually a first, because first. usually the Watchers are always biting the, the horsemen. Mm -hmm. um, because they have power. Yeah. Exactly, because they have so much yeah. power, and yes, exactly. And say, yeah. Because if they basically say this one is exactly. committing treason, it's exactly. done. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, that's okay. it. So it makes it makes quite a bit of yes. sense. So going to that whole fear thing, I know we briefly spoke over it uh, earlier, but Fury's whole thing in regards to the game mm. is quite different now. She has mm. They're going mm. for a completely different aesthetic than what they had Ooh. before. Yes, mm. so obviously she's, I mean, she's, yeah, she's a female, which is yeah. obviously the most um, noticeable thing. Yeah. But uh, they've also, the, the nice thing is it's not just an aesthetic change, uh, aesthetic change, sorry. It's I also a, um, mm -hmm. I want to say personality change or narrative change, mm -hmm. in that this is the first time you're not trying to prove yourself to the council, you are actually doing yeah. something that the council has asked you to do. Whereas in the first two games you were basically on your own mission to either redeem yourself or your brother. Yeah. But you went against the council's wishes. Mm. And this is the first time that we actually see a horseman follow the council's orders. Would that make then Fury a little bit more obedient than the other two horsemen? So yeah, so in the in the opening um, cutscene you'll see that uh, Fury actually says to them mm. that yes, I'll put away the seven deadly sins for you yeah. uh, but in exchange I want to be leader of the horsemen. Because yeah. that is her Oh, okay. Yeah, and so, so there's motif um, behind yes, it. There's actually yeah. motif behind it. She's not just doing it on the council's orders. Mm. Yeah. Um, although I know I just said that, but I mean you guys get what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, she, yeah. she's playing their game so they can yes. play hers. Yes. Essentially. And um, they actually say to her, if you're willing to trade obedience for a title, then so be it. Mm. So she's doing this all in the name of herself, just mm. to become leader of the horsemen. Mm. And um, she's actually not really favoured amongst her brothers yeah uh, or amongst many really to be mm. fair um, which is quite interesting because actually you'll see later on I don't want to I don't want to spoil it too much just yet um, but there's a certain species that you meet um, and uh, it's quite interesting that you see a different side of her in that sequence so yeah it's quite cool Oh, okay, so she's a very multifaceted character. Yes. She's not just oh, yes. all fury. She's yeah. not just all fury, which is really nice. They've given quite a decent amount of depth to her. Um, and as much as I love the first two games, I felt like that was missing from the from War and Death, is that they were very monochromatic in their character. Yeah. Not that I didn't like them, and they did suit their, I suppose, their titles well, mm -hmm. but um, they, yeah, they, 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 were, they were monochromatic. You know, one thing, one thing I actually like about Fury that I've seen so far from yes. all the trailers and the stuff is that she seems a lot more confident in yes. Warren yes. Death. She's, oh, she yes. has this cockiness about her that, oh, yes. that she wears on her sleeve. Like, oh, yes. Yeah. Mm. So, I know I said that a lot, but so much. Like, it's it's actually incredible, and that's you know, why I'm loving that's her the so thing, much. I love characters like Kratos and all of that. They, they, they just have, have that sass yes, behind them. Yes, the you know, sass confidence behind them, yeah. And I think Fury is just, just so amazing like that. So one, one nice thing about this as well, and I know I keep pointing back to other reviews, but it's, mm. it's something that also bugs me, having played it now, is that other reviews often refer to the game as it's lost its identity because it's not a hack and slash or an RPG yeah. anymore. Um, and I feel like as something as simple as giving Fury a whip, yeah. um, they've actually kept that hack and slash-esque uh, mm. substance to the game yeah. while um, introducing ooh, while introducing the rolling mechanic and stuff mm. it makes the combat more tactical so it's almost yeah. like a tactical hack and slash for me yeah. you know alright uh, no because uh, one thing I wanted to point out is a lot of the reviews you know they criticize Dark Soul I mean Dark Siders for just not having an identity of here we soul. go again with this rubbish uh -huh. I'm going to continuously mention Dark Souls because I'm a bigger <laughs> fanboy of that okay. but <laughs> <laughs> they do mention Darksiders not having an identity of its own. I don't see it that way. I see it as Darksiders always had an identity. Yes, it and was a just following. And a huge following. Yeah. So it was just kind of, you is know. This, is this not the most Skyrim cave you've seen outside of Skyrim? 
This is pretty much a Skyrim okay, game. Right? That is very right? Skyrim. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, 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 sorry to interrupt you there, but yeah. you know, I definitely agree. Um, and that's why I pointed out before is that Darksiders has always had an identity, but it's not a mainstream identity and it's never been that. Yeah. It's actually never been a mainstream identity. And that is thanks, thanks to the art style, thanks to the mechanics and, um, yeah. Ooh, now these guys are awful because they Ooh. keep throwing their stuff at you. Okay, so you oh, got, there we go. you've now got you like up. ranged enemies in the game. Yes, obviously. so there's obviously ranged. You've got brutes um, and you've got little like minion guys like this who... Yeah. Ow! Ow! Wow. Destroying you, man. <laughs> I don't know if these, these guys do an awfully lot of damage. Yeah, I so, think that punch yes. the difficulty. So, so that is one thing I will agree with on reviews is that the enemy scaling is... And I don't want to say broken. What is that? Is that a secret uh, thing that you need? A uh, so this is for? so obviously throughout the Dark Siders uh, series, you've always had like almost access to certain areas, but mm -hmm. you couldn't get through them yet because yeah. you need a certain ability or yeah. a power, and that is definitely one of those areas. So awesome. This so what, is, what, what do those normally give you? I I haven't gotten that far yet, to be honest. Oh okay. Um, okay. What are those things? So a quick question, yeah. I've noticed the uh, bar on your bottom right of your screen, there yes. is something filling up there. Yeah. Uh, oh, jeez. Is oh. that used for upgrading or? Oh, so I'll get to that now. Um, when you stop getting old. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, these range dogs are like relentless, dude. Like, check that wow. out, man. That's... You just got to hit him the first time and... Yeah, so it's kind of the movie. hitting him the first time, that's the problem though, because he keeps throwing his things at you. You know what? Like in the famous words of a popular franchise, you don't like us comparing this game to. Yeah. Get, good. get good scrub. Get good, get good scrub. So, <laughs> okay. Now talking about enemy scaling, yeah. this big bad boy over here yeah. brings a very interesting dynamic to the combat, and you'll see what I mean now. All right. So we've got Before to you, slap oh. him. Oh damn it! Really so uh, we've got to give him a. Woo! -hoo! Oh. All right. Okay. It's so sort of a brutish so far, not the mechanic just yet, but. <laughs> So as you can see, he doesn't really uh, stop when you hit him. Yeah, he does. He, he just kind of wails on you uh, until you... Okay, so uh, I understand oh. that there's a lot of these enemies across the game. Is this like the only version of the enemy you'll find? So... Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Revive. Oh, Revive. That was, that was so good. Oof, that's your yes. Like, yes. 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 So that's a that's just the standard wrath attack that you mm -hmm. find. Okay, so obviously you didn't do it there, yeah. um, but one of the things that ugly mug does mm -hmm. is whenever you try to block, uh, mm -hmm. not block, sorry, dodge. Yeah. Sometimes what it'll do is you'll dodge this way and then he jumps in front of you. So oh. as you finish dodging, he's there in front of you, busy wailing on you again. Oh, okay. So you just yes. you're not gonna escape type. So of no, 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 no. He keeps you there. You know, okay, you, and I see yeah. he's given you a reasonable amount of that blue of souls, stuff. Yes. Uh, so, okay. so that would be salts. Are they legitimately called souls? Yes, they're legitimately And you telling souls. us we can't compare this to Dark Souls. <laughs> so, okay, the reason why I say it's not Dark Souls is because the name is different. That's why. Is, is, is that all? <laughs> no. Um, no, genuine. So that's Souls. That's your in-game you currency, basically. Way, which way, is, you. where did I miss what? Who knows? Did I miss? Did I miss? No, no, no. Go miss? back. Go back. Go back. Oh, no. Yeah? No, no, no. There? Oh, there. Hello. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Um, so these little things you pick up is like healing shards. And these you can access there in the bottom left corner. So yeah. you get your small healing. So mm -hmm. this will obviously heal you up fully. And then your small healing shards you use for like when your health is halfway down and things right. like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like I said, that's your souls in the bottom right. Okay. And that's, that's your strange. pretty much in-game currency. So it's yes, you are right. That is what you use to level up with. But is it just um, me or and is also it there's these places? little hidden areas before I forget. Um, yeah. That's full of these lovely okies. <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. Um, and they just give, I mean, it's small little pickups, but they're hidden away. So yeah. at first glance, you wouldn't really know they're yeah. there. Yeah. Um, so I noticed there's like a healing shard, there's a strength shard, there's different types of shards yes. in yeah. the game. And you get wrath shards as well, which fill yeah. up your, your yeah, wrath right. core. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so you, so yeah, so like I say, you, you've got your, your different types of souls as well. So you yeah. saw the green soul that just floats out of yeah. that man there. Yeah. So that just gives you health. Oh, yeah. that helps. So that's almost like a, uh, I think they call them lurches. And yeah. I see that orange-ish looking one obviously falls up your rock yes. core. Yes. So, so uh, very similar mechanics to uh, God of War and actually the rest of the Darksiders franchise. They've always had these little um, souls involved. But the way that they've done them now is actually extremely interesting, which funny enough we come to this cutscene because this is exactly what I'll show you. Um, 
the way that they've made the mechanics this time is actually uh, a lot different to what they've done in the first two games. Yeah. So in the first game, your weapon and you leveled up as you went into combat and fought mm -hmm. different things off. Yeah. And in the second game, it was more RPG style. Yeah, 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 yeah. Points and points and different yeah. weapons and the Diablo style loot system. Yeah. Um, here we've got Volgrim, mm -hmm. which is the in-game merchant, I yeah. want to say. Oh, okay. So he's the one where you go so, to, to buy new abilities yep. and to level so, up. So from what I understand, Volgrim has been in the other Dark Side. Yes. I have come across yes. him many yes. times yes. before. He's that like iconic yes. merchant side character yes. that's just like... And he is also actually one of the figurines you get in the Dark Side of 3 Apocalypse Ooh. Edition. Oh. So you right. get a 20, I think it's a 22 inch Mm -hmm. uh, I think I, I think no, I think I got that wrong. Eleven inch, sorry. Yeah. It's an eleven inch size Volgrim statue, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a war statue, a death statue, and a fury statue. Oh wow! Not a popular that's position. Wow. And they're really cool figurines as well. Sorry, got sidetracked there. They, it, just, it looks. I like the art style, so it looks pretty. Um, so yes, you're you are right. Vigil has been involved in all of them so far. Mm -hmm. uh, the first time you meet Vigil uh, is with Vol. No, Vol. Oh, sorry, yeah. Vigil. I keep saying Vigil. He's the dark side as well. Yes. I know, mm. hey, it's just... So for anyone who doesn't know Vigil... Technically I'm not wrong because Visual Games used to make this. I was about so to say, Visual yeah. Games used to make the Dark Side of exactly. franchise. Yeah, but they weren't the merchant. Yeah. yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, anyway, so... Um, here you, yeah, you got Valgrim and the first time you meet him is with mm. War, obviously. Mm. And yeah. I think canonically it's the first time with War, Yeah. if mm. I remember right. Uh, no, sorry, I think canonically it's actually with Death. Yeah, oh, Death okay. is the first horseman to meet Valgrim as far as I remember. Mm -hmm. mm. Even though it's not mentioned in the other games, sorry. Yeah. Um, even though it's not actually explicitly mentioned in the other games, if you look what at the timelines, mm. you'll notice that War is technically still mm. captured when Death meets Volgrim for the first time. So, yeah. so here you can obviously buy his wares, yeah. you can access the Serpent Holes, which isn't a first because in the other games mm. you had to obviously wait a while before yeah. you can access Serpent Holes. Yeah. And this is the new mechanic, like I said, with the souls, is you actually feed him the souls. Yeah. Right. So okay. you you offer Does up your bounty and then mm. you level up, which right. provides you with an ability po uh, an attribute point. Oh, okay. um, then you here you've got your obviously your normal the items. Shards, Fans yeah. of Dark Siders will know what these are. It's your healing mm. shards. These are all your different shards. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's your ingredients and your specials. Now, the one interesting thing is they've actually cut his um, wares down to quite minimum. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because in the past two games, you always used to buy abilities from him, different mm. moves, things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. In this one, there's none of that. Yeah. So there's no. There's no. Yeah. There's no abilities that you can buy. You can just buy shards. You can buy these specials, yeah. um, which obviously uh, gives you access to like certain um, uh, little mm -hmm. bonuses, mm -hmm. and then your ingredients, which I mean, still hasn't really come across just yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we're going to say goodbye to Volgrim. He's going to disappear, and we're going to come. Here. So this is where you access your uh, attribute points mm -hmm. and assign different and things. You can just upgrade yeah. Your yeah. So, so I'm just going to upgrade my health mm -hmm. because yeah, I, you're I like a big I like, fan yeah. of just having more health. Yes, eh? I love wow. having more health because I'm. Uh, that that guy who likes Hulk. Uh, <laughs> I like staying alive, dude. <laughs> the <laughs> comment yeah. section is saying uh, from Claire Az, she has yes. more personality than War and Death, which is true. Yes, she has, that is, that. She has a lot of. Uh, Necromancer yeah. says combat system is very fluid. Yeah, which it is. I'm it not is gonna lie, it's quite fluid. So long as you know how yes. to do the button inputs, it yeah. looks pretty good. Uh, Chaelin says key. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there I just got pushed off the boundary. Mm -hmm. uh, so that does happen, just in yeah. case anyone was wondering. Oh. Um, but yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, the the combat is honestly from reading the reviews yeah. and and then plugging this game in. Yeah. I was genuinely expecting a broken combat mechanic mm, because yeah. of the way everyone was going on about it being so bad and so terrible yeah. um, and I was just really expecting something that was <laughs> janky and you know stuttery and whatever kind of like uh, most of the you know the, the hardcore gamers yeah. being yeah. like this game yeah. hurt my feelings I can't yeah. play games you know, ever again yeah. like, no <laughs> I mean I'm not gonna look I'm not gonna lie when I, I even when I was reading reviews just you yeah. know for my own benefit I, I got physically angry because mm. it was just not that how dare you say this about my game yeah. but I just couldn't imagine Gunfire Indeed. making such a bad job of Darksiders that it would be that bad yeah it's never been a broken set of games yeah they've always had their few technical quips and whatever but that's down to the Aren't budget of the studio that? not yeah. yet that, that, this looks like spider webs yeah you can't break them yet I promise you look I'll show you I'll show you oh, the nice thing you can run yeah. Please, cool. please so, forgive yeah. Keegan, he's, he's not an action adventure person. Yeah, please forgive Keegan, he's a dark side as noob. He doesn't understand spider webs need to be burnt. 
Oh wow! They're pretty much like the yep. staple in every game with spider webs. You burn them yep. <laughs> to get yep. through them. You have to <laughs> drop a bomb on them. But uh, yeah, so I was thoroughly impressed with the combat being so fluid and yeah. and enjoyable as well. It's nice. I'm I'm I love the the combat because it's not just button mashing. Um, There's a little bit and of. And as you saw there, yeah. Also, wow, like, these guys are just wailing on you. So what happens is. Uh, is that a secret once, room? Once, no, that's just yeah. where you came from. Yeah. Oh. As far as I can tell, is it? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's just where you came from. Okay. Um, so, as you as you saw there, the NPCs are pretty um, relentless. Yep. In that, even if you manage to take out a few of them and stop them from hitting you, if one of them hits you, they all go in after you. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's again, it, it gives that extra little challenge. Well, so it, to it, it makes it a bit more realistic because you know, yeah, realistically, yeah. you wouldn't have enemies just Waiting, taking turns yeah. wailing at you. Yeah. They're all gonna come at you. No, no, for sure. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that's that's uh, yeah, like the combat mechanic. And I I'm, I'm, I keep losing my words actually. He's, I'm tripping Rob over. Rob does my not the English. No, <laughs> I still don't know how to English, and you would think. Okay, okay so the the whole point of this game is you trying to. Your right. You are trying to kill the seven deadly sins. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit about who they are or what they are? So the seven deadly sins are pretty much they're from the biblical. Yeah, like, they're, they're, they're the biblical, you yeah. know, sins that you that um, are described in the, yeah. the, the, the the good book. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, these are basically just manifestations of them. So right. it's I don't want to say they're just like physical forms or whatever but they're yeah. just what the game portrays these sins to be yeah um and you'll you notice that with envy her personality was everything's mine everything's mine everything's yeah mine. yeah you'll see with wrath everything is anger angry yeah. and ferocious and um, yeah oh this is where you get to meet this the species in the game sorry i'm quite excited about this it's okay. the new species let's, what let's is these see. species you'll see you'll see it's, awesome. what these it's quite cool it's look it's a new species it's humans, humans. it's humans Wow! The reason why I say it's a new species is because it's the first time we've actually ever seen humans in Dark Side. Actually, oh, okay. that was true. We've uh, never seen humans before. We've actually seen civilization before yes. in the previous Dark yes, Side yes. games. In the yes. um, in the first Dark Side, yes. especially the ruined towns and everything. Yes. Now we actually see humans, which yes. is nice. You know, there's people who live in this world. Yes. There's people. people? In both of them. Yeah, what? people. <laughs> and the reason why I like it so much is that it also showcases. So, what happened to humanity after the apocalypse was triggered? Because mm. this is shortly after it's triggered. It's not like hundred years in. This is not. This is still when angels and demons are fresh into battle. You know? yeah. This is when things are just starting to kick up. Mm. So humans so, are like still. So humans are still around. So humans are still roaming around trying to find a way to survive. And it's interesting. So. Because that the first one they were all dead. Yeah, right? the first yeah. one everything's wiped out because it was about a hundred years after the apocalypse oh, okay. triggered. Yeah. Whereas this is pretty much fresh up oh, again. Mm. Yeah, there's, there's, um, yeah. Naturally, there'd be a few smiley faces. Mm. Yeah. And the nice thing is, as well with the humans, they've kept that same art style that I, that that's that's that's, that's present in the rest of the Dark Side yeah. series, which I know sounds weird to say, but um, you know, also we're not just we're not portrayed as this small, insignificant little race. Mm. Usually, with games like this, where you're controlling a character has monumental power, like. The, do the horsemen, sorry. What you know, is you know you're going to see humans that are like this yeah, like little they can't do because they want to emphasize the fact that mm. humans are insignificant what compared to the yeah. celestial yeah. powers. Yeah. But the nice thing is that, yeah, we can see Jones, mm -hmm. who is pretty stocky. I mean, yeah. he's a pretty bold guy. Like, I mean, okay, Fury would have him for breakfast, but yeah. he's still a pretty big guy. Yeah, I mean, he tries. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can see he hits the gym and eats well. Yeah, he's, he's, he's kind of got that, like, um, you know, eye gym. Yeah, every day, but you know, yeah. but yeah. are they strong in this thing? Like when yeah. you see them, so so far, I haven't seen much. Oh. Um, pretty much, what you do with humans is that if you do come across them in the world, you're actually meant to send them back to Ultnar. Yeah, mm. and interestingly enough, again, Ultnar is in the first game mm -hmm. where he meets mm -hmm. War and helps War against his fight against angels. Mm -hmm. yeah. So again, it keeps that parallel theme going on. Yeah, um, so it's and familiar. It's, yes, uh, exactly. It's familiar, but it's new as well. Oh, because this is a side of Ultna that we haven't seen before. A soft, a soft-hearted, caring person. Whereas in the in the first game, we just see him as a maker who's lost yeah. and he doesn't know what to do. Mm -hmm. You know. So it's it's it, again, it puts that interesting perspective and spin on yeah. all these familiar characters as well. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, just um, mm. now that you're mentioning familiar characters, uh, I know in the I beginning there we saw War and then we saw Death I'm as well. well. Uh, do they show up a little bit more frequently across the game? 
So, so do you have run-ins with war and death? So, so again, so far I haven't come across any of the other horsemen. Yeah. Um, there is apparently a scene where all four of them reunite, but I do not know in what context that is. Do we actually like? Actually I don't know get if it's maybe a flashback. I don't know. I don't know if you've seen the design of Strife yet, but do we actually then get to see what yes, Strife looks yes. like? You will get right. to see him, and presumably, or hopefully, yeah. you'll get to hear him as well. All right. So, I don't know how far that is, and again, I don't know what context it's in, but yeah, um, he, they are definitely in there. I want James Earl Jones to voice Jones. Yes, that would be so love that. So, yes. something, uh, something I want to point out. We've got a rather odd question. Oh, the thing yeah. is, uh, Chetbait says, Hey guys, wanted to say that I absolutely love the stream. I got a question though. Thank you. Why does Keegan wear a hair tie around his wrist? He doesn't have long hair, so it's a bit puzzling. Uh, a bit of a These backstory. are the real yeah, questions. These are the questions. A lot of people ask me this. Before you go into your backstory, can yeah. I just quickly... So, one thing about Ultnar when I was talking about those textures that don't... Mm. That looks like it's not really oh, yeah, in yet. Right there. If you look at his face, yeah. you'll see it looks like he's not there yet altogether. Yeah. Yeah. You'll see the textures look like they haven't loaded yet. Okay. Yeah. And that's one of the only things I was disappointed in so far. Mm. I keep, yeah. Or, okay, also another thing I was disappointed in so far because in the first game, yeah. he has got a ton of detail and he is... Um, yeah, it looks a lot better than that, I could promise you, yeah. in the first game. So, I was a bit disappointed at that. It's sort of like maybe some of that frame drops you're referring yes, to as yeah. well. that too. But also like a, it's a step backwards in terms of like graphics. Yeah. 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 Very exactly. fast yeah. in how you move yes. sometimes. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I, I get it. It's certain polishing. It just issues. looks like he's not... Uh, yeah. And the reason why it looks like he's not loaded in properly just yet is because the rest of the game is so well detailed, mm -hmm. you know, like, and even in that scene, you'll see his face is not that well detailed, yeah. but the rest of his yeah. clothing and his and armor the pieces and all are nice yeah. and clear and detailed. So yeah. it's a bit yeah. jarring, but it's also something that I can forgive because, mm -hmm. okay, maybe because I am just a fanboy, but yeah, yeah it's, it's, uh, it is a bit disappointing though. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so um, one thing I noticed though on the screen is that there's a little red skull at the top of the screen. Ah, yes, you noticed so, that, did yes. you? Is so that where what is the that about? sin is? So, yes, that is basically your... Oh, we can't go down there. That is basically your map. Uh, mm -hmm. That's the only map you get in this game. There's no... And that's the only icon you'll yeah. see on the map, pretty much. Is um, it, it does change throughout the game. Because I've noticed it's a different color. Does that have to associate with the... Yes, it correlates sins. with the sin that you are going to do. Oh, okay, so this is wrath. So red is wrath, obviously. Yeah. And uh, obviously you guys can't hear it, but that the, the audio just stats is quite a lot at this particular scene. Yeah. And the nice thing is as well, it's not a performance issue with your console. Yeah. It's something that can actually be easily patched up mm -hmm. because it's very specific scenes mm -hmm. that it does it in. And it's scenes that I've gone through a few times and they mm -hmm. keep happening in the same way. So it's it's coding errors within those particular scenes. Mm -hmm. So hopefully Gunfight can get a patch out for this relatively soon. Yeah. So that these will be fixed up and you know people who might pick up the game in a week or two yeah. will be able to enjoy this over Christmas. Alright. Oh, actually, there was the on-screen prompt. The the skulls actually yes. indicate the uh, so the skull yeah, indicates the yeah. sin that you are going to, and obviously the color changes depending on what sin you are facing next. Wee! Wee! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Ow! Ow. In comparison to the Ow. boss fights, the, the that slow mo dodge thing doesn't seem to appear here. When the boss fight, it so, seems like it's more in tune. Like yeah. There's so, so that is actually a perfect time dodge. Mm -hmm. And if you get a perfect time dodge and you attack straight after that, you'll get an arcane counter. I'll try and do it here. Nope. That didn't work. Let's see. Right. Maybe we can try again. No. Okay. I can't get it yet. But yeah, mm -hmm. it's basically, a, it's almost like a perfect counter. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. Sorry, perfect dodge. And you'll give a little bit of a extra oomph to your counter um, yeah. when you press attack after your after your good looking dodge that's like all matrix like it's quite cool <laughs> it's a slow motion dodge it's like a slow dodge motion dodge yeah. which is actually present in a few other games as well uh, i just can't remember the name of them right now ah, here we go bayonetta i believe that's an actual thing bayonetta. there we go see so there's your arcane counter oh, okay right. there we go that was beautiful that's pretty. Yeah. That's pretty cool mechanic. But I, yeah, it's, it's, it doesn't seem to pop as much with the small enemies as it does with the larger enemies. So the smaller slower. enemies are uh, very, very quick. Mm -hmm. um, which is also oh, I need to just heal up quickly. The the smaller enemies are a lot quicker. Yeah. So to time their dodges perfectly is a little bit harder than the big guys. Yeah. Like even this guy sometimes is pretty hard. All right. 
So it's not something you're going to be able to do every single attack, you know, it's something yeah. you've got to time well. Okay, and, um, so that comes down to, obviously, I, I know we keep comparing it to this game, but I'm just going to mention it again. Dark Souls, yes. right? you sort of are forced to study your enemies. Yeah. yeah it's not yeah. the case that we can just run yeah. back and slash. Yeah. Each enemy yeah. uh, variant and type has a different pattern that yes. you have to memorize. Yes. So, like I said, with those guys, they aside from boss battles, they're pretty much the most challenging ones I've found so far. Yeah. Because of the fact that every time I try to dodge, they'd always jump in my way. But obviously now I know better. Yeah. So now it doesn't look like it on screen. Mm -hmm. But yesterday I was getting my butt handed to me by those oaks because was they were blocking me every single stream. time. You were yeah. literally practicing yep, for the that's stream. That's exactly what I was doing. I even said to them, I need to get good for the stream. Yeah. According to yeah. Keegan, I haven't gotten good though. You need to nah. get gooder. You need to get good at <laughs> So as you saw there, even, even when you're jumping, if you're hanging off a ledge, yeah. enemies can still attack you at yeah. any point. There's yeah. no way to cheese the game. There's, there's no way to, to, to escape unless you dodge. That's, yeah. that's literally mm -hmm. the only way. Yeah. Or you can be a... a I love a, how they're just damage. casually roasting the... <laughs> Whatever it is. That. There's little details in the world where these guys are like so... And you just go and you ruin their food. <laughs> well, they're going to be dead, so they can't eat it. I mean... This is you, man. What if not, they were cooking it for like... They're demon moms or something. Um, I'm not sure that that's how it works, but you I apologize in advance. <laughs> I'm on a mission. Ooh, this is a red. Oh, this is oh. good. Oh. That dodge was actually perfect. Like, it was, and I almost pressed the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> so, this looks like a new enemy type that we're experiencing, or is this just a beefed up it's, version? It's pretty much just like a beefed up version okay. of what we've been seeing so far. Um, as you yeah. saw there, he took a few more hits to take down. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, like I said, so far those those big beefy four arm guys are mm. pretty much like a, it's like a it's like a black stitch. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty scary. Not gonna lie. <laughs> when I saw that the first time, I nearly like pooped myself. Yeah. Is that the word? Really? Huh? <laughs> Poop shot out of your A nine. Yes. <laughs> yeah, out of the A nine. Yeah. And so here, here's one scene that I really like as well. Yeah. And it showcases the um, variation of Fury's character. Yes. Yes. Very compassionate. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Well, th that's the thing. She, her personality is kind of like um, split in two. Where she's when she's compassionate, she's super compassionate, yes. and when she's fury, she's fury. Yes, for lack of a better word. But, so yeah. I, I really want us to get to Roth mm -hmm. because I want to be able to actually show you what happens after the ba the the boss battle. Mm -hmm. Because you'll see then why I also say that her her personality is extremely passionate. Oh, they, uh, they have a kind of like a Arkham uh, yes. thing going on here yeah. with the Vents like and yeah. yeah. The in and out thing or going through the mm. various. Yeah. Okay, that, that, yeah. That's very cool. So I'm gonna try yeah. and just like rush through until we get to uh to yeah. Roth, hopefully. Um, um what is that thing doing in the corner? That is just a crap. These eggs do pop and and uh, do pop out enemies. These ugly things jump out at you. Oh, oh but they're not on all of them, I like that. That's they they nice, do they though. do look a lot like the the Yeah they do. Or the face out is this more of your Dark Souls creatures? Rob, a, a Xenomorph is... Um, oh, Xenomorph! I didn't, hear the, <laughs> I didn't hear the Xenomorph part. And Facehuggers. Wow. <laughs> Rob. Rob, Rob watched Prometheus and he was like, this Dark Souls live action is just you know, crazy. You know what the thing is, hey? Shush. Leave me alone. Okay? My game. My, my precious. <laughs> The Xenomorph is a Dark Souls enemy. Yeah. That's the first time I've heard. I remember Artorias and the Xenomorphs. <laughs> it's my favorite part in Dark Souls. <laughs> you make one mistake. <laughs> Don't you just love it when you have to fight the alien queen? Oh, yeah. It was so Jeez. great. So these guys are also pretty annoying. Remember Sif versus the Predators? That was the greatest part of them. <laughs> oh, I think they're going like franchise after <laughs> <laughs> I mean, alien versus Predators. No. Oh, in the same universe. Yeah, so it counts. Yeah. Okay, nothing else going on here, except for these things. Okay, the weird spider. The weird, the weird spider. They're also from the first game. Yeah. yeah. Um, Look a bit more details here though, to be honest. Yeah, they're a little, a little bit more detailed, yeah, but they're oh, all from oh. the first game and I can't remember what their queen's name is, but she's also some weird yeah. spider. Break the you have to break the weird peni looking stones. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, hello, there's also this bad boy over here. Ow! Oh, uh, he, he's... Yeah, he... Ow! Hello! Okay, ow! 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 So just not getting hit ow, any ow. time soon, because you'll die. Yeah, you, I'm, you gonna, said, I'm, gonna, um, I'm gonna die. You said you yes. were able to kind of ru rush through certain areas. And Say again? Sort of like rush 
to the next boss and yes, stuff. Yeah. So this is like the perfect game for speedrunners, you know, for guys who want to try and set world records. Yeah, I mean, the, okay, like it's not like you're gonna, it's not like the, uh, the, the speedrunning is because of, um, you know, because of like, yeah. Um, the speedrunning is just going to be if you're not going to collect all the items that's lying yeah. around, like your shards and your, you know, you're going to go exploring a little bit. You kind of just want to rush. You kind of just want to literally rush boss, straight right? through to where you need to go. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, oh, so this, this is how I actually take out some of the barriers. Yes, that is how you take out the okay. barriers okay. and that makes a lot half destroy yourself in the process. No, I think that's just you. Okay, that, yeah. maybe that's just me. Ah, there she is. Wow, oh, alien wee. queen. Wee. Oh, that's 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 uh that's that's what's laying the eggs now, but that's not the same thing you face in the first one. But the xenomorph. I feel like this is a younger version. Of the xenomorph. Uh, could be. Bye. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Gosh. So answer chat bait's question. Yes. Sorry, yeah, I interrupted before, your story a long time before. ago. Yeah, I know, no, but again, we're also talking about the game. Mm, the yeah. Side track. Yeah. So, so um, fun fact. You're gonna story time with Keegan. You're gonna Keegan thing. Did you, sorry, did you, did you, did you see there? Yeah. Did you see there? I died. Yeah. I just died. Rob, Rob's interrupting. I died. Right. Sucks. Yeah. Sucks. Okay, sorry. so um, okay. we got to actually um, talk about Dark Side as in not your hair, Keegan. Yeah, but the person <laughs> asked the question. What we just not ignore them? Tell them never ask questions again. Is that literally what you're going with, Sam? Can, can we talk so, about Keegan's hair? Just long story short, <laughs> Sam's rude. Don't ask him questions. Rob's nice. He'll probably answer your question too. <laughs> that's that's the dynamic now. Uh, but yeah, it, it was just the first date with my girlfriend. She had a, a hair thing in it. Okay, there, there you go. Ah. Yeah, that's that's that was the most underwhelming story. Well, you know, like story you know, time with Keegan. You, you set up it. this like beautiful narrative. Yeah, I was gonna go into it, but Sam wrote my mood because it's like we need to talk about dark sides. And I'm like, oh, cool. People ask questions, but now I have to speed through my story just so I can get. I feel like Back your story would have been stuff. unnecessarily long though. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't going to be unnecessarily knowing, long. Knowing you, Keegan, we would have been sitting here after the game was yes. done. Dark Souls 4 right would have been released. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it was a good story, okay? Sure. What, Dark Souls 4? I haven't played it yet. No, yeah, Dark Souls yeah. 4. Right, Keegan okay. is clairvoyant now. <laughs> I mean, if it's anything like this, it's going to be Dark Souls 5, is what I'm going to refer to it as. <laughs> you tasting my patience. <laughs> <laughs> Snap. Shit, we might even call it Bloodborne 2. Okay, now you now you're seriously Just stepping on it there. Eh? <laughs> yeah, Sam's, got, Rob, a, Sam's yeah. got a little thing about but Bloodborne being so great. Oh yes. I don't even know how I did that. What was that? Do I don't know. I don't know. know. I'm trying to... That was the coolest thing you've done all game. I'm just pressing buttons, man. So okay, we're gonna leave those things alone because they hurt me the last time. And I'm still not over it. Alright. Is there any like um, sort of speed mechanic to your running? Because you can sprint. Speed. You can sprint. I just keep forgetting you can sprint. Because in <laughs> other games you can't. You, you, yeah. Um, Rob, out all these cool combos like. Yeah, like man, I, I, I don't even know, know how I'm doing that, man. It's like disturbing. I'm going back to this dude. I noticed there's like um, like yeah. numbers flying out of it. Very Borderlands. Style. Yes. Kind of yes, yeah. What is it? Um, and can you honestly, it honestly, no. So far, yeah. I haven't found a thing to toggle, toggle it off yet. Yeah. Um, then again, I haven't really rummaged around to the settings, so there might mm -hmm. be an option to, to toggle mm -hmm. it off. I'm not a fan. I'm gonna I'm admit, I'm really either. not a fan yeah. at all. I feel yeah. like it's just it's unnecessary and it's like it's jarring. Oh, it's yeah. really broken. Okay. Um, yeah, it, it's unnecessary because it doesn't add anything to the game. There's no yeah. like. Oh, you must inflict 500 points of damage. Yeah. You know, so it's kind of pointless because you don't know how much damage you need to inflict upon these lovely things. Like, there's, there's a couple of games where I actually like the the, the numbers yeah. coming out of you, and then there's a couple where I just absolutely hate it. So, Borderlands, I know, were among the first people to do it, mm. and mm. I just didn't take a liking yeah. to it, but something yeah. like Monster and. I really love the damage. Come on, come on. You come to me, because the last time I didn't. No! Oh. Yeah, Deny! Yes, you know. It's grim. Oh, there's a lot more things coming. Can't you do that rat thing that you have? Perfect up yeah. There we go. Kill there we go. There you go. Now it doesn't kill everything. Hey? No, he's kind of like this guy just hanged in the background. Yeah, he was like, oh, screw yeah. that guy. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. So my mama told me not to associate with strangers. Which you'll which you'll notice now. Mm -hmm. What is that? That over there would be sloth. 
Slump? Yes. Wow. So, <laughs> ow! What? The, where did you come from? Face slump. Get out. Face slump. Oh, there. That slump there? Yes. That is cool. So that is slump down there, but you yeah. only get a glimpse of him for now. Yeah. You face him later on. Oh, alright. Oh, that's pretty that's, awesome. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like when games tease you like Slot that. Yes. being lazy, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. We, we made no, talking we <laughs> funny. We, we fine. Okay. Let's let's pour some souls and level that because I feel like we need to. Yes. Pour some souls. Like really. Pour how, some souls. how much Dark Souls references does he want us to throw <laughs> in a single stream? You know what? Uh, uh, I do not appreciate your nonsense. Well, then tell, you should have told Gunfire not to make it so close to the Dark Souls. <laughs> I think that's Jay. all you. No, that's all you. Shut up. I know my truth. <laughs> Okay, so we need to go down here. How do you have a fight You can sprint, by the way. Oh, yes, okay. It's a good call, good call. Okay, so we need to go. Break the. That, we need to get that. Yeah. Right, we need to take out this guy. Wee wee wee. Are we French now? Wee wee wee. Maybe I was saying wee wee wee. It's your It's your fury. Why is Hitler? Why, why, why is Hitler? Why is, why is the French now talking to Hitler? This is odd. This is this okay. That's beautiful. a new chamber, but but you just say of, But in the sake of finding Roth, we will push up. All right. Okay. Well, now we need to go. So, so I, I noticed like like you said, when you came across Sloth Hill, yes. on, it's sort of like a semi-open world in the mm. sense that you mm. come across areas you're not supposed to be in yes. early from the get-go. Yeah, and then they're gonna yeah, open that's it up exactly. to you later. So they're gonna open up, open it up to you later. So okay. So grab this little guy. I mean, Fury has no problem. I would never touch an insect. I'm gonna be honest. That's she, she, so if you look up closely, yeah. I'll try and get a close up. You can actually see she's kind of like put it in a little prison thing yeah. in her hand and she's floating around. That's even worse. That's not bug cruelty. I mean, <laughs> they're animals wow. too. They're, they're and look, look at this. She throws it. Well, look at that. Like, not a single kick. That game. doesn't hurt, man. And the thing's just like. And he oh, likes it. He likes this little he, nectar. He does like mm -hmm. See, then it gets all swollen. Yeah. And then you kill it. And then you blow it up. Alright. Yeah, you see? And then yeah. you but that's its purpose in life. Yeah. No, it's not. It's it is though. It was literally it really is. relaxing. Ooh. Ooh, this is fun. I mean not really, but sort of. Okay. So so what's going on? Oh, that. oh. damn. That's actually I really like the enemy types that they're throwing out here. Uh, yeah, it's quite cool. Um it's very different to the first game. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's not like too many to win three. Yeah, yeah. Of the yeah. Side, but there's also not too many changes where you get frustrated with the game for throwing so many things at you. Yeah, yeah. So I think that's pretty cool. That's a nice blend that they got going on here. I'll give a pop yeah. to that. No, I, I'm, I'm loving the, the the enemies in this game because it's it's it's. Oh jeez. Also, if you say that in the video, I can't do fifty percent loyalty. <laughs> okay. You don't like own the term, but yeah, sure, yeah, man. I mean, go for it. Oh, oh, he's feeling the pain. I do feel like the I'm feeling the pain. Okay, run away. No, and I'm top of like oh, the color, so I, I'm awful with this, eh? Shiza. I like how okay. he, he conveniently just stopped the legend. Ow! Yeah. So nice. That, that, was, that doesn't always happen. I promise yeah. you. Yeah. You can see the yes. inspiration with Shelly from a rhinoceros people. For those <laughs> yes. fans out there who likes. Oh, rejuvenation. Reju uh, increase. Oh yeah. So oh, actually, those yeah. little health, those little health lurcher th souls things that I showed you earlier. Yeah. What they actually do is fill this little thing in the bottom left called Nephilim's respite. Yeah. And that's what you use to heal. With. Oh. Okay. Yes. So it actually doesn't heal your health directly. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, there's a little thing. Oh, there's another thing. thing. Go for it. Adorable. Like, yeah. right there. So cruel. It's so not it's cool, cool, man. It's super cool. So but why do you need to throw him near the little lava? So that he knows where the so lava is. Yeah. That little thing he likes drinking. Ow! Yeah. I just hurt myself. But you're not very good at this, are you? Shh. I am, okay. Keegan, I'm good. I think you should play Tomb Raider and show people what good oh. actually is. Oh, son. <laughs> <laughs> You know okay. what? Yes. I could throw so shots right now, but I'm not in the mood. I remember <laughs> this like, puzzle, whatever. but I don't have any... I don't have any healing stuffs. Okay, so we're mm. almost close to Roth. Alright. But you're right, gonna if I remember, die when you get there because you don't have healing stuffs. Uh, yeah, so yeah. hopefully there's a Volgrim station before the end. Okay. <laughs> well, Wasn't that usually the case in the previous Dark Side? I think you sort were, of just yeah. always had the boss yeah. station before the boss fight. Yeah. Right, right, that, that, that would be like awfully convenient right now. <laughs> but there's like one right there. Yes, but this is a two part puzzle. Because those regenerate. Uh, so <laughs> I need the little bug to come here and drink up the. The little mm -hmm. stuffies? Yeah. 
before, before, before. Oh, snap. And uh, I died. You okay. killed yourself. I killed the bug. <laughs> that is probably With the fire bug. Killed. Yep. Well, yep. you essentially Good have job. two minutes to fight yep. Wrath. Do you think you can do it? Done. <laughs> Easy. Well. You're Easy, prepared exactly. to put your money with them. Easy. Your mouth is. Easy. Are you Watch. sure about this? Watch. Are you sure? Watch. I went down once, not McDonald's once. McDonald's first if you lose? McDonald's what? <laughs> eh? <laughs> McDonald's first if you lose? Ah, for who? You see, look, he's not that confident in himself after. Ah, okay. So we can just actually just, I'm just gonna buy stuff from Baldwin here. Oh no, never mind. Just lose your souls. I forgot about that mechanic. Okay, so you lose your souls. So if you die, you lose all your Similar souls. Similar to this one game. <laughs> where... <laughs> Oh, it should actually be open, so um, Very similar to that one game. So it's one uh, you know, game. Really, you know what, you two, just give it a rest. This isn't Dark Souls and deal with it. It's not my fault you guys haven't gotten a sequel in how many years. Hey, Stop Rob projecting. Says, Rob says this and then walks into Artorias' boss Stop fight. Stop projecting next. your pain onto... <laughs> Did Dark Souls 3 not just come out last year? <laughs> Right, like came out two years ago. Two years yeah, ago. two years yeah. ago, exactly. So shush. I thought it was so good, you won't even know that. Okay, one of those so, things. Again, we need to get little one of these guys. Uh, yeah. Oh, he's a re oh, never mind. Just All right. die. That's so, so cruel. So we need to get another one to come out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then redo the same thing as we did before, but fail. But this time we're going to do it right. All right. Okay. Okay. Damn. I see you. Right. I see you. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So how about throwing the bug near the thing that? Yeah. So up? that's exactly what I was going to do. Yeah, because you threw it on the yeah, other side. Yeah, I threw it on the other side of nowhere for some reason. And that doesn't help anything. Like, yeah, just yeah, right there. Like, right there. Damn it. Let it go. Pick up things. this guy. Don't oh, throw me up, please. Pick up that thing. Pick up this little dude. No, 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 Snap! So this was one of the puzzles I was talking about earlier, being so okay. simplistic yeah. but complicated at the same time. Yeah, because it's all about timing. Because it's all about, it's all about yeah. the timing. Yeah. Yeah. And you are going to get a bit frustrated. That's, mm. that's a guarantee. But I mean, if you're not frustrated at Dark Siders, then what are you even doing? Yeah. Then it's not Dark Siders. You're playing a fair game. I don't know what a fair game is, but <laughs> yeah, I was about to say like Rob's making up words again. Come on, come on, drink your stuff. It's gonna regenerate. Them. Oh, no, 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 those are the angels there. These are the angels, yes. Yeah. Wrath looks a lot cooler than Andrew. Yeah, we all need a puppy. I hope I remember the controls. I hope you've left something for me. <laughs> I hope not, so it's funny to watch. I'll try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> he is a mean looking fellow. He is, eh? Hey? Wow. Is yeah. yeah is like a, this guy yeah. looks like he can lay down some damage. Yeah. And he can, trust me. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, for the oh, most part, like he's not. Oh. He's, he's not like terribly OP, which is yeah. nice because yeah. he's actually. Oh, 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 oh! Slade, Slade! Oh, you should have not bet McDonald's on this because you're gonna get me a lot. I forgot <laughs> what the I forgot what the dodging. Uh, okay. <laughs> I keep pressing circle. I mean, people panic <laughs> and the box, if you get the dodge button. I, it's happened so many times to me. It's it's, it's actually the, the the one way I die the most in games is forgetting how to dodge or block. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's yeah. It's mm -hmm. you know. There's one time. How sorry. many? Okay. In all seriousness, jokes aside, how many times have you been defeated by a bot? Oh, no, Vir Vir Virgil, Virgin. Why'd you put me here? Virgin. Virgin. <laughs> Valgrim. Valgrim. <laughs> I call him Virgin. Okay. <laughs> That's rude. Um, <laughs> How many times have you lost to a Dark Souls boss because you've forgotten to dodge? Um, funny enough, so we were playing Bloodborne this one time yeah. at a friend's house and I was fighting the Blood Soul Priest and my screaming resulted in amazing dodges. I don't know how that <laughs> worked. It, it was literally, I'm not going to lie, it was an anomaly till this day. I don't know how I got it because so it's like, hey, 
like distance of dodges and I was just screaming hey I'm not gonna <laughs> oh yes yeah. so this is where you, as far as I remember this is where you can collect souls that you lost yeah. so that's what that floating thing was yes. oh but the okay, floating okay. thing is also just a collection of souls mm-hmm. yeah but it's also what it's also okay, sentience. look at how he's waiting for you oh look at that he is just so now he's waiting for me once yeah. again oh oh snap oh wow, you got even charging him Okay. And this is her chaos yeah. ball. Oh, that's yeah. so awesome. Oh, that, so I this is that. just where the OP yeah. button smashing comes in. This is where you just yeah. beat the living dad out of your control. Uh, and Not your opponent, just your control. Okay, okay, run away, run away, run away, run away. That, that, oh <laughs> my gosh, he's out. That I really nothing. thought they would do more. Well, then again, you haven't put much into strength, have you? You've just been doing help. But I faced him yesterday at the same level. So, <laughs> I mean, you've been hitting the gym a bit. So, yeah. You it's, 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 no, you didn't look, with Roth, with Roth, it is a bit easier to time his dodges and stuff because his, yeah. his attacks are pretty... He's very telegraphed. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah, his attacks are very... What's the... Not... Um, they're very easy to read, should I say. It's it's really predictable, that's the way yeah. I'm looking at but I've noticed this, you just have your timing down, you're pretty Yeah, hard. yeah, look, don't get me wrong, yeah. I mean... But like, something like that, now that was a mistake. Yeah. And that cost me quite a bit of heart. He's gonna pull that back, isn't it? So no, oh, he actually no. just comes at you with a... Oh, jeez! Wow. Jeez! Yeah, okay, I didn't know he did that. Shredder That's a bit scary. Ow! Wow. He hits hard. So he hits hard. Oh, but, yeah, but I mean, the dodging is, is pretty much done. Yeah, it's, it's oh, see like that attack now. That was like a feel, mate. Yeah. Come on, come yeah, on, come on. Go. Go Maybe that rod thing of yours. Oh, oh. shiza. Like like uh, incredible rage. There you mode. go. There yeah. you go. That, that took out a bit of health. Oh. 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 You want to play this go. game? Okay, here we go. This yeah. is. This is that like is, a uh, cool cutscene? This is yeah. a really cool cutscene, but it's all heart wrenching cutscene. To Keegan only. Oh, you see? Hey guys, love in the stream. Glenn says hi and we send our love to Keegan only. This is the Sam. Please watch and, <laughs> watch and feel the pain. Watch and feel the pain with me. I love you too, guys. What is this? Just, just she brings just, her horse. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's pretty cool. The yeah. horse has a thing in it. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Who killed the horse? No! The horse is dying. So obviously you can't hear it. Yeah. But her voice is cracking as she screams. Just so now she's screaming at Rampage. Keegan, Rampage is such a cool name for a horse. Keegan should resonate right. very well with dead horses right now. And the reason why I love the scene so much is obviously not because of the horse stars, because I'm not malicious like Keegan. Mm-hmm. I love it so much because of the, again, the passion that comes through in Fury. Yeah. The fact that she, she has just seen her horse and she absolutely loves the horse. Yeah. And she's just seen it die and she's screaming. And they obviously you guys can't hear it, but she's screaming again, I'll tear you apart. Mm-hmm. And she's genuinely screaming because she's so angry. Yeah. You know, and that's I love it so much because it's it's such good character development, you know? Mm-hmm. Why is she stabbing herself more? You'll see. Because she's fucking cool, bro. Did she just commit honorable sin for She literally and... just put a knife through him, through her back. That is cool. She back rolled She's from his OP face. Too, uh, dude, dude. That was, that was cool. Also this chick is just OP. Like, <laughs> she's just so cool. You know? That was really cool. We Absolutely love it. War. The others. Wow. So, so this is where the story developed. This is, this is obviously where it starts picking up. Okay. But this is where oh, we're going to call it a day. Because yeah. I don't want any more to be spoiled for you guys. Yeah. So, so if can just we're just going to actually leave it right Yeah. So now you have to play the game to play the rest. That looks pretty cool. To be fair. Is, Come on, like how good does that look? It, it, was so far, it, it doesn't it look as bad as a lot okay, of people Okay, I will admit something, so long as you admit one thing Fine. for me. This game is very Dark Souls. Okay, so, with, okay, in all seriousness, with that whole topic, with that mm-hmm. whole discussion, yeah. there are obviously elements of Dark Souls mechanics that have been introduced into yes. this game. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's noticeable. The, sure. Like you said, as well, the fact that you drop your souls when you die, yeah. the fact that your, you know, the enemies are a lot more impactful than what they were before. Mm-hmm. Um, in the previous games, the smaller enemies that you face throughout the journey was not nearly as powerful as what mm-hmm. the boss actually was. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes, Wrath was taking out half my health bar, but you kind of get it because he's one of the sins. Yes, yeah. You know, yeah. but when a normal low level he's enemy taking out is taking bar. out big chunks of your health bar mm-hmm. and like five of them attack you at the same time and mm-hmm. you die because you can't stop it, mm-hmm. 
it, it is very reminiscent of, mm. of Dark Souls. So yeah. yes, I will say that much. But I feel like it does it in its own way that it's not like a copy paste from mm -hmm. the from Dark Souls itself. Mm. And yeah. even if it was, it's not a bad thing. It really isn't because the nice thing is that the game is still like Dark Side is enough for fans to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the combat mechanics just make it interesting because it, it does need to be interesting. It's a sequel. Yeah. It's the third game in the trilogy. So you need it to be interesting. You need yeah. it to have something different. And I feel like they've done the only thing they could have possibly done other than making it a different playstyle once again. Mm. Which we can't do because we had Hack and Slash and we've had RPG. What else are we going to do? The game doesn't have guns. We can't make yeah. it a shooter. You know. Yeah, yeah Fury there yeah, with like, like an Fury's AK. Just there with, okay, sorry, it does have guns, I lie. It, Death and War both had guns. Mm. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, mm. We can't turn it a shooter. I get it. You know, yeah. can't have mobile mechanics. So. I feel like this is actually the best mechanical system that they could have introduced into the game. Alright. But I think I think it kind of works for the series because mm. it will bring quite a lot of new people yeah. Yeah. into it yeah. because there is always that appeal mm. for the hard game. Mm -hmm. People mm. want to finish these type yeah. of games. So, yeah, I, I think it's pretty it's, cool. Good yeah. job. Uh, what do so, you think, Sam? Hmm? What do you think? You I like just it? I just keep on having like Dark Souls go through my yeah, head. I know I know I don't mean it in like a bad I, I way. It's in a bad way. It's a, yeah, yeah. it's a really yeah. good thing because yeah, you know. Darkseid has never crossed me as a game that was original mm, mm. by design, mm. but because it took a lot of ideas from different games yes, and yeah. sort of made it its own. Mm. So yeah, mm. in the first game, you had a lot of elements of Prince of Persia, Devil mm. May Cry, God of and War. And even God of War back in yeah. the day, yeah. So what they did was they were able to take all of those concepts yeah. and put them into a neat little package. Yeah. And I think that's the appeal yeah. of Darkseid is, is yeah. Yeah. You know, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Mm. And I know mm. uh, if you go to our website, Andrew actually wrote a pretty okay. good piece on this yeah mm. titled but, yeah. exactly the same thing exactly that and uh, the one mm. thing like just before we we wrap up finally the one thing yeah. i do want to say about darksiders is that just remember that when you play this game this is very um the art style is deliberate mm. things in this game are deliberate for a reason mm. it has taken a lot of different influences from different games but it has made it its own um especially through the lore and mm -hmm. Darksiders is a lore centric game. Mm -hmm. It is not a game that's meant to give you the best mechanics or the best gameplay or the best play styles or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. It's meant to give you a fantastic story and a beautiful art style. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what it does. Darksiders has never not delivered on that. And I feel like the third has luckily, or, or should I say thankfully, the Darksiders 3 has really given us good lore and great art style as well. Yeah. So, um, that's, Ooh, yeah. Pause that. yeah. Um, so yeah, that's just my pretty much my okay. final thing on Darksiders. I'm absolutely cool. loving it. I hope you guys love the stream. I hope you guys love this game because you should. It's an amazing game. <laughs> yeah, please, drops, please drops. increase the drops. fan base. No, please. We're recruiting. <laughs> Stop listening to Rob. Just <laughs> don't play Dark Souls then, at least. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's an amazing game. Just on no. that note, can we close? Yeah, like I was about to say, like I'm trying to close, and Rob's trying to express his love for Darksiders over here. Join a poetry club. So that was Nexus. <laughs> Streaming Darksiders 3, uh, smash that like button, or in Rob's words, kick the like button. Kick it. Hit the notification really bell, subscribe, and join us next time. So, yes, next.